Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We definitely have some cleaning to do, some decluttering, and a little bit of organizing. So we're gonna go ahead and start by getting the dining room table cleared off. Yesterday was Easter. I hope you all had a great Easter if you celebrate, um, but we, our kids <laughs> um, have bags of candy and all their goodies sitting here and just I had some other things built up here that I needed to uh, put away and so I'm gonna go ahead and get all that done go ahead and break all these bags down and that way we can go ahead and save the gift bags for next year or if you know we come across a gift that needs to be given um, but I just thought I would put them in baggies, make it much easier. That way too, the candy stays fresh. But anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments. I know last week was kind of a crazy week for us. Um, uh, it was quite the ordeal and I appreciate each and every one of you for just, you know, sticking by me, supporting me through the craziness we actually um well um to start with my my great aunt passed away uh she was actually really close with my mom and for those of you that don't know my mom um has been gone for uh just over 10 years now but she was really close with my mom at one time she helped my mom through her divorce and all these other things and so uh actually our youngest daughter shares her middle name she was named after her and she so she passed away but it, it's okay she lived a very long fulfilling life she was an amazing woman um you know all that and then um very unexpectedly my husband's uncle passed i i don't want to go into much detail it's not my place um but it was very unexpected and yeah it, i i don't know um i got the phone call i knew you know when you just know something is up um it's just you know it, it was like later in the morning here but where we're from um you know, the time is different. And so you knew it was early morning and I'm like, okay, why am I getting a phone call from this person at this time of the day? I know it's not going to be good. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately we did uh, lose, you know, him as well. And then, um, to add to it, uh, my dad took his behind back to Nebraska. <laughs> um, so he has been spending um, the winters down here in Florida with us. And then he spends the spring and summer back in Nebraska. Um, and it stinks. <laughs> he is like quite literally the only family that I have left besides my 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 husband's family um it's a long story but that's the way it is and so yeah and it breaks my heart that he has to go back so with all the stuff going on and then adding that into it it just it's been it was a rough week so i appreciate every one of you i don't mean to start the video off this way but i thought i would give a little bit of an explanation as to why there was only one video last week which you guys seem to do you guys seem to like it um i know it was super long but i absolutely love ikea and just going through everything that they had and they had so much new stuff but anyway guys um right now i'm just going to restock the coffee bar it has been a hot minute so i wanted to go ahead and get that all cleaned up and restocked i do kind of I don't know. So the way my brain works when it comes to decluttering is just kind of, you know, cleaning and decluttering and then organizing one section at a time, if that makes any sense. So we're going to go ahead and start with the coffee bar and then we'll move on to the cupboards. I just want to be the one. Face the heat and maybe make a promise and make it through all of
as far as decluttering goes, I would kind of like to make this a series. So we're obviously starting in the kitchen today. Um, and I would like to just share some tips and tricks with you guys for, you know, different ways to declutter your home, basically going from room to room, space to space. So like I said, today we're going to go ahead and start in the kitchen. The kitchen is the heart of the home. It's the place where everyone gathers for meals to do homework and, you know, pretty much everything in anything in between. So, um, first, you know, I would like to also say that decluttering your home makes it easier to keep it tidy and organized. I have really learned that um, since moving, you know, before we moved, we had so much stuff. And once we moved down, oh my gosh, I had to share this little clip with you. He was being just so cute. <laughs> he is such a helper, you guys, not to cut off what I was saying, but he is such a helper and he was always rubbing on my legs and it is being so stinking cute. But anyway, before we moved down to Florida, our old home had so much stuff and we we got rid of probably three quarters of stuff. And there are a few things here and there in the past two years since we've lived here that I'm kind of like, oh man, I wish I still had that. But in reality, like I ponder on it for like five seconds and then I move on and it is what it is. So. Um, but it just, you know, decluttering your home definitely just makes it easier to keep things tidy, to keep things organized, to keep your anxiety and stress levels down. Um, I know for me, when my home starts to get just when it starts to feel like extra really cluttered um or even uh disorganized and stuff like that it starts to kind of give me it kind of makes me a little bit anxious i know i'm not alone in that i hear a lot of people talk about the stress that um clutter and stuff like that causes them so it's just like there's just so much stuff and then, you know, you get so anxious to try to go through it all, um, which is why I wanted to do this series and why, you know, to basically take you section by section. So the other thing, you know, with decluttering your home, it also makes it easier to find what you're looking for. There's less stuff to go through. Um, you know, if you don't have all those pile of papers or, you know, say you're looking for a certain uh, utensil, you know, if you don't have tons to go through, then, you know, the item will be easier to find. Also, you know, another thing with decluttering your home, it also gives you a reason to love your home again. So, you know, just getting it cleaned up, getting the mess, the, the, all the stuff you know, put away and whether you give it away or whatever you do with it, it just helps, you know, give you that less anxious feeling and you are able to come home and relax at the end of a long day. To work things out. So we're going to go ahead. Also, another thing I like to do is work harder, not smarter. You guys hear that tip from Tammy all the time. I always tell you guys. Um, and so one of the things I like to do to focus on working smarter is, you know, I, I know I have to feed my family regardless of how busy I am during the day. People still need to eat, right? So when I know that I have a whole day of cleaning or decluttering that I'm wanting to do, I def I usually do a crock pot meal. So this is actually a new meal to us. And please excuse the fact that I'm using a piece of my, um, oh, what is that called? I can't even think of the tool now, but I'm using it to try to uh, zest my, my lemon. I do not have a zester. I keep meaning to buy one and I just don't ever think about it. But anyway, <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and make a crock pot lemon garlic butter chicken. And you guys, this was delicious. My family loved it. They asked me to cook more 
parts to make it again. So basically what you're starting with is six to eight boneless chicken thighs. I actually had these in the freezer. Usually I only have chicken breast, but this is this would probably be really good with either uh, breast or thighs. Um, I think the thighs just give it a little bit, um, you know, sometimes breasts can get a little bit more dried out, but anyway, so then you're going to go ahead and put the boneless skinless chicken thighs in the bottom of your crock pot, salt and pepper it to taste or to, you know, to your liking. Um, you're going to add in one tablespoon of garlic powder, a one tablespoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, or you can use cayenne if you prefer. Um, it kind of depends on your uh, spice level. I will say this had a little bit of a kick, but it wasn't like, holy crap, holy, where's the milk? Where's the bread? You know, cool this baby down. So it was actually really, really good. It seasoned perfectly. Um, it also takes a half a teaspoon of paprika, uh, four cloves of garlic, which you actually see me use minced garlic. This, I keep this in my fridge at like all times. It is so much easier than trying to, you know, keep garlic around and cut it up when you need it. It doesn't work for me. So this is what we do. Do what works best for you. Um, and then also a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, which you will see. I don't use Italian seasoning. I actually use um, oregano, basil, marjoram, um, uh, oh goodness, rosemary, and thyme, um, which basically makes up an Italian seasoning. But I just sprinkle all those over the chicken thighs. And then I also um, put some little tabs of butter along the top of it. And then you also want to, in the very beginning, before you add your seasonings, I forgot to let you guys know this, but you zest half a lemon, juice one lemon, and then a third of a cup of chicken stock that you mix together and pour over the thighs before your seasoning. So if you are interested in this recipe, I will try to remember to leave it down. Um, I'll leave it in a comment for you guys, a pinned comment. Um, so that way, if you guys are interested in it, it was absolutely delicious. It was so super easy. Um, you'll see at the end of the video how it turned turns out. You only call me on the weekends when you're out and about. Only chasing highs you need me. He brings me flowers on a Tuesday. He gives me good love and something that I never thought existed. I know what I need. Ain't gonna lie. I know what I want. Speak in my mind. Another tip from Tammy or what I like to do that helps in my life is as I cook, I clean as I go. Actually, pretty much anything I do, I clean as I go. It just makes things easier, simpler, you know, um, less clutter on the counters and stuff like that. So once I got done putting everything in the crock pot, I went ahead and already, I went ahead and washed everything um, because I knew that all the other dishes had already been washed and put away. And so I just wanted to go ahead, get these washed instead of letting them sit in the sink all day or sit in the dishwasher. Um, that way too, uh, if for you guys that are new here, our kiddos do chores. Um, and so, um, this way too, it doesn't add to the dishwasher stuff that my daughter has to do at that night at night. So I like to do that sometimes, um, give them a little bit of a break from the dishes and 
stuff like that, you know, and if I know they have a test that day or if they just are going to have a lot of homework or if they have something else going on, um, whether it be softball, dance, you know, all the, all the fun family things. So we're going to go ahead and get these put away and then we're going to go ahead and tackle, um, more decluttering in the counters or in the cupboards. <laughs> So if you guys are anything like me, <laughs> we have tons of cups, tons of bottles, all the things, but we are a big family. We are a family of six. Um, it's my husband and I, and then we have four kiddos. So we tend to have a lot of water bottles. However, I do go ahead and declutter some of them. Um, while I am decluttering, I want to make sure that I am touching each and every item. Um, I don't know. Just, there's just something about touching it, it, whether it brings you joy or you know that you're going to use it uh, and just making sure that you are seeing every item in your cupboard uh, or in, your, in the space that you are decluttering. It just kind of gives you an idea of everything that you have. Also, how cool are these cups? These, I can't remember if they were my grandparents or if they were my mother-in-law's cups, but they are so cool. They are, you know, from I think like the 90s. If you guys know, you know. But anyway, making sure that you are just touching everything and um, also, again, cleaning as you go. Take everything out, clean it all up, move away from the stuff or move the stuff away that you are willing to part with. Um, you know, another thing that I like to do also that I forgot to mention as far as like decluttering goes, make sure that you're setting up like three different piles um, or maybe even four if you'd like. But I usually do three um, purely because I don't know anybody down here. But so my idea is, you know, you have three piles four if you have like friends and family that you would like to gift to. But um, you have a donate, a trash and a keep pile. So Obviously, things you want to keep, you can go ahead and put back where they belong. Just make sure that they are all clean um, before you put them away. And then, you know, trash, anything that is broken, um, damaged in some sort of way, missing pieces. You guys, you know what I mean, right? So um, for clothes, for instance, if it has holes or lots of stains, stuff like that. Um, or then... If you have something that you um, that is nice, but you just don't want to use it anymore, donate it. Um, you know, for instance, like leftover um, or like towels and stuff like that. Donate those to your humane society, your local um, shelters and stuff like that. Use those for the animals. Um, and then it also helps cut down on costs for them or blankets are a good one to donate like that. Um, but if it's something that you think, so this is the, the fourth step, the fourth pile that you would make um, is if you know somebody in your family may want that item. Uh, maybe it's an inherited item that you just don't want anymore. And so you're like, oh, so-and-so can use that. Or it's just an item that you just don't want and you think that somebody else can use that you know you know, put that in a pile for them. Or if it's an item that you just don't think anybody you know will use, that was, but it's still usable, that would be an item for a donate pile. So four piles for um, somebody you know, donate, trash, and keep. But for me, <laughs> it's obviously just the donate, trash, or keep pile. I don't think, I did throw some things away today because I did clean out the uh, spice cupboard. I was so disgusted, you guys. I could not believe my spice cabinet. It was terrible. But anyway, so another thing that I'm doing while I'm going through everything, I also am wiping, like I said, wiping everything down, wiping all the shelves down, and then also wiping down the outside of the cupboards as well. My upper cabinets do not get near as dirty as my lowers, but they still get fingerprints on them. They still build up dust. And don't forget to swipe that top upper cap part of the cabinet door. They're, mine were so dusty. I was like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe. I obviously have forgot to clean that out. Don't come round 
That decluttering is extremely hard for me I there are items that I've gotten rid of in the past that I'm like okay I wish I have I wish I still had those um, and I have replaced those um, the bunt pan uh, as you saw was covered in dust I rarely ever use that I actually I don't I can't even tell you it's probably been a few years since I used it but I do use it once in a great while when my husband begs me enough <laughs> to make him uh, monkey bread. He loves it. And you guys, I need to find my mother-in-law's recipe because that was his favorite and make him some. Um, because seeing the dust all over this dust or this uh, bunt pan, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to make that for him. You know, he works hard for us. So sometimes I like to just treat him and make him some of his favorite snacks or treats like that so anyway um but going back to what i was saying i you know i've gotten rid of a bump pan before and i'm like why did i do that i may not use it that often but i know that i will use it eventually that is why you know a lot of times people are like oh if you haven't used it in a year get rid of it because you'll never use it anyway and i just feel like that is so wrong you know um it's not so wrong a lot of things can be fall under that category. However, like I said, I haven't used this bump pan in years, but I still know that I use it and I will use it eventually. And they're kind of expensive. I so I don't want to have to go replace it that one time every couple years. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So if you know that at some point you're going to use it, don't get rid of it. But if you are absolutely 100% positive that you're never going to use it again, that is an item that you know that is good to get rid of. since I decluttered my spice cabinets um, when we moved I literally just put all my spices in a box and moved them down here to Florida and I probably shouldn't have because when I was going through these um, <laughs> I had something that expired in like 2017 2018 I was like oh my goodness why are we still using this um, but yeah so definitely check your spices they do expire I cleared out quite a bit out of this cabinet um i i was actually really shocked and really like disappointed in myself too because i'm like why did you spend all this money on these spices and never use them i know that's probably the hardest part for most people is you know you spend money on these things and then you're gonna throw them away or get rid of them and i the money is already gone quite literally i know it's hard but the money is already gone. You're not going to get it back. So whether, you know, whether you keep it in your cupboard and let it collect dust or you throw it away or donate it, you're never going to see the money again. So 
you know, take that into consideration. Just don't, you know, don't let the money part bother you. You spent money on it. It's fine. Just, you know, move on. Um, if it's something, again, that somebody else can use, then you're, you know, you're doing a good thing. Your, your money may have, you have, you may have spent money on it, but you're giving it to somebody else who is going to use it the same, in, in the same concept. So, you know, at least that item is getting used. It's not going to waste or anything like that. Things, you could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be a one of the things I love. Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked. They're like everything that has a cherry on top. Get on my list of the things I love, love, love. You could be the one I trust. All the second chances, they are nothing for us. Another thing I like to do is to keep like items in one cabinet. So I have some Tupperwares, like not the brand name Tupperwares, like, you know, just like um, containers in a drawer. But then all my actual Tupperware containers I keep up in this cabinet. Um, it just makes sense to me. I, I go to reach for these more often than I do for the ones in the drawer. And so... This is where I keep them, but I don't want to get rid of any of them purely because we use Tupperware like crazy. We, you know, I usually, when I cook a meal, I cook a lot and then I will, um, we'll have leftovers the, for nights that I know that we're busy. Like if there's youth group uh, one night or a softball game another night or whatever it may be, I make sure that I know that I have leftovers for those nights. And so... We use a lot of our Tupperware, as you can see. There's even pieces missing from this set because they are in my fridge. <laughs> um, full of leftovers, um, full of leftovers from Easter. Um, and then they will be full of leftovers um, from the meal that I'm sharing in this video. But I also wanted to go ahead. This is where I keep like most of my baking items. Items that I, while I'm baking, I reach for constantly. And instead of walking from you know, the stove area all the way to the pantry and back and forth multiple times, I feel like it's just much easier to keep my baking items right here, easy to reach, you know, for when I need them. Have you guys ever, you know, moved on to a spot and realized that you forgot to clean something? That is definitely what I forgot. Um, or that I realized I forgot to go back and clean the, the fronts of these cabinets. I also, sitting here, literally just realized I forgot to do the top of the fridge. Oh my goodness. I meant to do that because I know that that fridge is a mess. But anyway, here is what I decluttered from the upper cabinets. Um, the spices and all that that are unfortunately going to be going in the garbage. But the other stuff I will be donating to our local. Um, we have a... Um, oh, what is it called? Not a habitat, not habitat for humanity. I mean, I could donate it there. Um, but we have a local thrift store that is for, uh, it's nonprofit. You donate, everything goes to basically taking care of any animals. Um, you know, Florida has a very big wildlife pre preservation, preservation. There we go. Preservation um efforts and so like with manatees sea turtles um you know all the things like that pelicans even um so this place that we donate to uh helps with a lot of stuff like that i like donating to those types of places you know places that'll help the community um even like habitat i i'm pretty sure habitat uh they use you know the money um, from from the items that they've sold to help with building the homes and stuff like that uh, but if you can find a good place, a good thrift store like that, as opposed to like, you know, the Goodwill um, and all that, <laughs> where the money from the sales just go into the big CEO's pocket, I think donating somewhere that actually benefits your community is what is best. Or even like if you can find like a woman's shelter, I know um, back in Nebraska, I would try to donate to like the children, women's and children's shelter. 
Um, so that way, you know, whether the women and children or whether the women can use the items that I donate or if, um, you know, or whether they sell the item and use the money towards the women and children. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on to the base cabinets. I'm going to go ahead and start with the drawers. I do not really declutter a whole lot of my drawers. I, I use everything in my drawers. I know I have multiples of a lot of things. But we use it and so you don't want to get rid of things that you actually use but um when we first moved here after we redid our kitchen i um ordered these organizers off of amazon so i'll make sure that i leave the link for that video if you guys are interested or even the, my amazon storefront link is in my uh description so if you guys are interested in any of these organizing items but I absolutely love these organizers. The only thing I was having an issue with is um, they were sliding in, well, this one particular slides all the time. So I just picked up some of that Scott, um, I forget what it's called, but it's like a gummy. You know, like the blue stuff that we used to hang posters up on our wall back in the day? Y'all know what I mean? Like you, <laughs> millennials will get it. Um, but anyway, that's basically what this is. And so it's just like kind of sticky, but it's not damaging. So I just put that on the bottom of the organizer so that way it's no longer sliding in my drawer because it definitely damaged the drawer. Uh, but that'll keep it in place and keep it from moving around every time you open and shut the drawer. I might be broken down but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional but then I turn around and let it go. This drawer is kind of a catch-all. As you can see, it has a lot of our Christmas cookie making things in here. And I, okay, so the cookie cutters used to be in a box. I don't know what happened to that box, um, but they are no longer in the box, as you can tell. So I kind of struggle with how to organize those. Our oldest made sugar cookies for Christmas and then just kind of threw everything back in there. And yes, I know it's been a few months, but it's been a few months since I've been able to do anything. But Anyway, I I want to go ahead. I'm going to re kind of stack them and kind of organize them a little bit better, but I'm kind of at a loss at what to actually or how to actually organize them. Um, if you guys have any tips for me, I would greatly appreciate it because I am kind of on the struggle bus with that. I don't know everything. I'm still learning as are, aren't we all. <laughs> Um, so I did just kind of basically stack the small um, cookies inside of the big cookies that match the same shape and then just kind of stacked them all up here to make it a little bit easier and then the little spritz cookie um, tool I kind of just restacked all the little red clips in there and just kind of put everything back in after I cleaned the drawer it, it kind of is a organized mess <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes we have we have those situations. I was starting to run low on time and I knew some of these other drawers really didn't have anything for me to declutter or clean, um, but I was just kind of, like I said, I was running out of time, so I just wanted to make sure that I got everything wiped down because, you know, like I said, the bottoms cabinets get really dirty and for whatever reason, they show up really well 
all the drips, all the splatters and everything shows up really well on these white cabinets. So I wanted to make sure that was um, top priority after decluttering everything that I could um, or getting rid of all the items that I knew that I wanted to get rid of. Um, cleaning the cabinets was definitely right up there um, with the rest of that. So I, like I said, I was running out of time because I had to go get my son from school. So I was just trying to finish up the best I could. Hey. make note to you know just making sure that you are not too hard on yourself giving yourself grace when it comes to decluttering and cleaning and all the things um do what you can you know don't don't you know overdo it don't um break it down into little sections into little pieces you know i, I know this video is it's almost 40 minutes long but i didn't literally sit here and clean all day like that. I started out with almost three hours of footage, um, but everything is kind of broken up, you know, because one, I have kids to run around. I have laundry that I'm doing while I'm cleaning. I have animals to take care of. Um, that's another thing we definitely just added to our animal collection. <laughs> Uh, for those that you don't know, if you don't follow me over on Instagram, y'all don't know yet, but uh, I will be sharing those guys next week actually with you. Um, but anyway, so I just want to let you guys know, give yourself grace. You guys are doing amazing. Um, but anyway, if you want to see how dinner turned out, make sure you stay till the end. But this is going to be it as far as the cleaning and decluttering goes for today. I hope you guys got some inspiration or helpful tips or tricks. Um, if you did, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and come along and join my YouTube family. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you for being here. I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.